Hello, Gemini. This is Lisa. Welcome to your July 20, 2019 general reading. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, so if it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for coming. Listen, if this does not resonate with your sun sign, um, don't try to make it fit. Just go to the moon and the rising videos, assign videos, and see, and just check those out. Then maybe we could put everything together, right? If this is your first time here. Welcome. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Please, by the end of this video, consider liking and subscribing, and don't forget to hit that bell. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate that. All right, Gem, let's get into the reading. I've got some overall energy here, and I'm using the Star Child Tarot deck for the main um, cards here. We've got overall energy of the Page of Wands, followed by the Five of Cups. By Serenity, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Which is kind of the hanged man, I believe. Listen. Uh, there's been a lot of new starts that have just happened this month or about to happen. Um, and you're really wanting to move, you know, Jam, you're like, oh, let's go do it, right? Oh, let's go do it. And so there's been a lot of really cool new starts. Um, but I also feel like that some people, because of the eclipse energies, because of the, the transits that are happening, there are a lot of people that are showing their true colors and showing like what they're really about. And probably putting a lot of demands on you. So it gets a little overwhelming. So while your business or work or whatever, money is good, you know, there's a lot of passion, um, perhaps a new passionate endeavor, right, has, has started this month already because I know we're almost mid-month. But so look at this as your lunar eclipse reading. Um, while that's all happened and that's awesome, we still have this overwhelming emotion like you're really getting kind of drained um and you really need to find some time with this serenity for some meditation like there's seriously look that's meditation right like you gotta find some time to balance yourself and to ground yourself okay so let's get into this reading i mean overall i think the reading is good but i want to get into it a little bit and let's see what's going on all right we've got the five of crystals here for energy coming towards you feeling a tad bit left out in the cold why right let's see what that's all about and probably it's got a lot to do with that new start that's happened and a whole lot to do with people putting a lot of demands on you yep there's been some disappointments that have happened and or if they haven't they're going too soon and it's really letting you know like it's some heartbreak potentially with that three of swords it's really letting you know oh my gosh it's really kind of time for me to like you, you can't share it with everybody, right? Sometimes you got to run that race solo. You got to be on your own track. This could have a lot to do with family with the six of cups. Okay. So it could be family members, close friends and whatnot that have really disappointed you, or you just are just like, really, I'm, I'm out here on an Island. I'm out here on an Island and I don't, you know, like I'm doing my own thing. Right. So just, um, know that this is coming okay or know that this is already here sometimes the people closest to you can disappoint you the most um you're bringing your own energy really the page of swords you know quick thought quick decision new way of looking at it you're just kind of like i'm over a lot of this stuff and i'm gonna go on with the magician card and manifest i'm using the mythic tarot for the clarifier and manifest what i want right and wish fulfillment. So you are really going after it in your own energy, in your own way. You're going after it. You're just like, I've got to do this. I got to have it. And I'm going for it. I love it. It don't get better than that. It just doesn't get better than that. What could be an obstacle for you, though, is transformation. In other words, not being willing. That's the death card in this deck not being willing to let something die not being willing to transform wanting to hold on to something for dear life now that is the card of scorpio now i also have the king of cups which could be pisces or another water sign i don't have the queen of cups here um so it could involve a water sign pisces cancer scorpio 
and I also have the seven of swords. This could also be yourself. Understand it could be reversed. You perhaps don't want to let go or recognize that perhaps somebody that you care a lot about is not being completely upfront and honest with you, or they're trying to use you in some way, or they're, you know, whatever, that sort of thing. Like it's, or you're feeling like you're totally trying to steal from me, or you're totally not like, you don't have my best interest at heart. The King of Cups always has the best interest of their, his subjects at heart. Okay. So if it's somebody that is supposed to, and you're just like, what are you doing? The transformation of that is like, I'm going to forgive you. Um, I'm going to see you for who you are. believe you when you show me who you are the first time. But um, I'm going to have to do things differently. I have to be very true to myself, right? With that page of swords energy. I have to be very true to myself. I have to manifest my best life. I have to work on my dreams, my hopes, my aspirations. I cannot really sit here and allow you to continue to drag me down in a sense like i gotta slough off the dead weight and it's hard sometimes to do that especially if this is family this is i really believe why we've got this five of crystals they are sitting there with the three of swords and the six of cups when it's flipping family that does it you're just like oh my god you were supposed to be the port in the storm you were supposed to be you know that constant you were supposed to be like the person or people I could count on. So I get it and I'm sorry, um, Gem, but what's going to help you is the queen of wands energy, right? That energy of I can do all things. I can do everything. I am powerful. I am in my divine feminine creative energy um, with the devil card, even with to an, a, a, a point of obsession with it. Like, and not in a bad way, but being so hyper-focused on it, like your goals and living your truth that you don't let anything come in your, come into your way. And then here we have the Empress, right? Amazing. Like so that's, she's amazing, right? She's ruling. That's more divine feminine energy. She's ruling her world. And with this eight of swords, come out of being trapped in your own mind of your own thoughts. Like, know that you can get out of it. Know that you can get away from it. Know that you can do it. Okay. The, um, and that's really, um, begins to sum up the outcome or advice, which is the star seed in this deck. The star seeds, like the world card, it's like the universe. It's like, listen, you could do anything, right? You have within you all of the creative power that you need, right? You have all the creative power. Here we have the six of swords. Take, renew your thoughts, right? Get away from all of that turbulence. Get away from all of that doubt. Get away from all that fear. Um, you could be traveling yourself, maybe relocating, whatever the case is, but travel away from it. Take what you need from it and move forward. Like get going, right? Get going, like change those thoughts, you know, don't let them in. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Here we go, the eight of cups. I can't, how many more different ways can I say it? Like, l let it go. Walk away from the stuff that ain't serving you. If it is not evolving you, then do not involve yourself in it. Hello? Sometimes you have to, and even with it, with family, sometimes you got to walk away from it. And you don't want to walk away from them. But sometimes, beloved, you just have to. I know. So, I, you know, there's not, guys, you have what it takes. And this is the perfect time to hear this message because during the lunar eclipse time, right? It's a full moon and a partial lunar eclipse. This is the best time to release old thoughts to old ways of, of viewing yourself and closing that chapter out. And then, bam, here we go. New chapter right? That's an empowered chapter and it's like full of energy and vitality and um, the future is bright, okay? Because then we're going into Leo season shortly thereafter. That's a bright future. That's like bright, like woohoo, everything's great, right? That's divine masculine energy. Love it. I love the divine masculine because then really we begin to see a lot of manifestation. Like it's like, <laughs> go for it. So ride this out. Be good to yourself. Meditate, 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 right? Um, clear out, 
some things, clear out some of that energy, clear out those bad thoughts, you know, work with someone like myself or someone else to just really help yourself um, heal and then move forward because you have it within you. You can do this. And all those great ideas that you had, go for it go for it. There's no better time than the present to fulfill all of your wishes. Okay. All right, guys, at the very end of this, there's like a, maybe a minute, um, or two, um, just real quick spot about the tarot classes that are starting July the 20th. Um, and you can find all that information on heartofinspiration.net. And if you wish to work with me, like reading or Reiki energy healing session or cord cutting, things like that, um, all of that information as well is on heartofinspiration.net. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Love you. Namaste. Bye-bye. Tarot classes start July the 20th. Learn to read tarot for only $297. Register at www.heartofinspiration.net now.